Hello there and welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, United Fan, United Fan TV Change. Uh, it's been a while since uh, you saw me. Uh, I've been doing a lot of traveling, so it's been impossible to keep up with uh, the videos, and I apologize for that. And then I'm back, and uh, even though you can sense that some of it's uh, under the weather, it's still good because it's a match day. Uh, United plays today, the Premier League begins today. Uh, it's excitement all over uh, i know some of the fans are still disgruntled uh mainly because of the fact that uh Moreno is still our manager uh fans were calling for the head of Moreno after some of the things uh he suggested in the uh pre-season uh, conferences that he held across the globe so uh nonetheless we we are still excited about the uh, game today against Leicester uh, I in particular am optimistic about our chances this season uh, a lot of us were expecting uh, at least a centre-back signing uh, during the transfer day deadline yesterday but then it wasn't to be for various reasons uh, if you listen to the different school of thoughts uh, everybody has their reason some blame the manager others blame the board some say it's just, uh, it's uh, Ed Woodward's uh, lack of proper negotiating skills that has cost us uh, a signing this uh, on yesterday on transfer day deadline but then nonetheless the manager says he's happy with the squad uh, he says he's ready and uh, he's been hitting some jobs uh, Recently, uh, yesterday, he was talking about the fact that he doesn't understand why the media are making it look like uh, we were fighting relegation last season when we came second. And he's telling us to watch out for uh, his team by December. Uh, we would see where Manchester United actually is. And uh, the last from the World Cup are in, but then, as Mourinho said, they are not much ready for today's game and uh it doesn't it doesn't really change anything because most of the squad that played in the preseason uh, matches are fit most of them are fit and they are they are ready as the manager is saying to kick off the season uh today before uh today's game indeed in the uh preseason games Moreno hinted that the starting front men, the three will be Mata, Sanchez and Martial, but then you know the issues with Martial, uh, his wife gave birth and he had to go and see to the mother because she had uh, suffered some complications, but then he's back, uh, but then according to uh, the boss, he's not much ready, so uh, I don't know if uh, they're going to have a surprise in the front uh, three, uh, or Moreno is going to go with the 3-5-2 which he looks to favor this season uh, most people are of the view that if you assign a center back a, a commanding center back then there was every chance that he was going to play three at the back for most games in the season because you get, you get the sense that Moreno doesn't uh, really trust the center backs at the moment even though he signed Bailey he saw he signed uh, Lindelof himself and came to meet smaller than uh, Jones but then he doesn't really trust them and our full back uh, Valencia is hurt so it seems Damian couldn't uh, engineer a move away from Old Trafford and then he looks set to start today uh, Brian on any unforeseen circumstances and uh, Shaw should also keep his place even though actually Young has started training and then the issue with uh, the formation I think uh, for most parts of the season he would have played uh, three at the back if he had been able to sign a center back uh, i am of the view that the reason why he doesn't really attack as much as uh, the fans want to see is because he doesn't he doesn't trust his uh, defenders that much so he was able to sign a player in the mode of uh, let's say uh, to be out uh, go out then uh, he would have been comfortable or confident enough uh, knowing that uh, he would keep the lines or he keep the defense in check 
and allow for the other uh, players uh, to freely uh, dominate games and uh, express themselves forward without necessarily uh, having to think about what is happening at the back. So that has been his dilemma. But then all the same, everything is over. The transfer window is over for the English clubs. And uh, we move, we move on. And uh, I know most of you are also getting uh, your FPL teams ready for the season. It's going to be an exciting season. It's going to be the toughest season yet because of uh, the obvious, uh, uh, for obvious reasons. So many signings, uh, teams in the middle uh, of the table and at the bottom are all even signing players. Uh, we've, uh, we've done, have done some wonderful signings. Uh, West Ham have done some wonderful signings as well. But then it's not just about the signing, it's about the synergy of the team and it's important that we kick the ball rolling. So today's game, uh, I'm expecting that at least the fans who go to Old Trafford get their money's worth by the end of the game. We should see a high scoring game. Uh, at least uh, at least three goals so that we 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 are confident going into the season because most of the fans are indifferent about our season. For, for sure, most don't think we can challenge Man City for the title. And I don't blame them, but then you write off Manchester United at your own peril. So let's let's keep the hope. Uh, Fred is in. I, I expect him to play with uh, Pereira and uh, maybe McTominay in the middle of the pitch. It's, it's going to be good nonetheless. Maybe Paul, Paul Pogba. I have uh, a running today because uh, he's already started training. And uh, about Paul Pogba, I think uh, we all know we all saw him at the World Cup. Even though it's a seven-game, uh, it's a seven-game tournament. But then it's it goes to say that if he's trusted enough, he's managed well enough, we would get the best out of Paul Pogba. And I I encourage uh, Mourinho to. Improve on his man management skills. I think that's what's lacking now. He has to improve on his man management skills, especially as he didn't get what he wanted in the transfer window. We'll have to make use of the squad that he has, and all of them would have to fight for him, uh, just like his previous title winning team. So we'll have to manage them very well and understand uh, their individual differences so that uh, it, it goes. Uh, to help the greater good of the team. Uh, I would like to hear from you as always. I would like to know what you think of the season and your expectations for this season. Uh, second place finish, first place finish. But then uh, I'm, I'm always aiming for the best. The title is what I want. It's been a while, a long while since we won the title. So we need to win the title again. And let's hang on to hope. It's going to be a great season for Manchester United. And uh, hopefully, by the time I do the next video, it's all smiles and we are buzzing going into the next game. Uh, this has been United Fan TV Gage, and uh, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to ask all my United fans in Ghana, the faithfuls, uh, to subscribe to the official Manchester United uh, membership so that uh, we could have a better coalition going forward. We could have a fan club in Ghana because it's important that we get our views across. Uh, and the only way to do that is to be an official member of the club. So if you want to know how, you can uh, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how. So kindly get your My United official membership and let's get talking. All right, see you another time soon. It's bye-bye for now.